Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how video. In this video, we're going to take a little different route. We're not going to we're not going to be doing uh, tutorials today. We're going to actually be just checking out some hardware instead of some Blender software. So, uh, some interesting things. Uh, we're going to be looking at the 3090. I'm going to compare it to my 1080 because that's what I previously had. However, um, it's not really a comparison video. It's mainly just to show the RTX in all of its majesty. Because I was really impressed from the upgrade of the 1080 to the 3090 and then I found out uh, just a few days ago that uh, I didn't even have RTX on for some of these rendering and it actually makes a big difference there's a there's a setting in Blender Optics that um, allows Blender to access some of those RTX cores which significantly drops down uh, render times so we're gonna check that out pretty much just renders that's all we're gonna be looking at but uh, hopefully you're thinking about um, if you want to upgrade, this is kind of like the video for you right now. So, and if you're a, a graphics artist, so one one concern though, and this is a big one actually. If your case is small, you got to make sure it can fit. This thing is a huge card. That's my 1080 on the left and my 3090 on the right. So, be prepared for the the massive size of this thing, and uh, you should be good. So I decided to compare three different uh, example Blender scenes. This is one of them, and I decided to throw different three different settings on each of them to kind of see how they perform differently with the uh, uh, between the 1080 and the 3090. And you can see that there's a big difference already in these just these two. And these are the um, no denoised, and they don't have the optics on, which is like the RTX core. That's how Blender accesses the RTX cores. So uh this is the those are the benefits you're getting this is this is the benefit right here like uh you're dropping from 4 minutes down to one and a half and that's without RTX and that, so this next this next one you can see that you can this next one's going to be a big difference you can see that we got 6 minutes right here so for the 1080 it actually increased time and that's fine um but when you it dropped almost 30 seconds off of just that first, uh, just by turning the ray tracing on, which I think is, that's huge. 30 seconds is a big deal when you're talking rendering. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really cool things here as you watch. Uh, pay attention to the ray tracing that would also be uh, capable from any of the RTX series cards, that'd be the 2000 or the 3000 series. Um, this is actually one of the best scenes that I think that the card performed on. So it only took a minute and nine seconds with the 1080 without optics and denoising. So this one wasn't super demanding, but it only took 39 seconds as far as no optics. Now the next setting is going to show that is even more dramatic. One other thing to consider as we do this and is the the fact that it takes like. 30 seconds I think for half of these like 20 to 30 seconds for them just to get from uh, like for the CPU to load it up and, and spin it up into into a renderable scene which um, does hurt the times already so if you picture this this last that last one um, it was like 30 seconds I think right somewhere in that I think that one took 20 seconds just for the CPU to get it onto the scene. So in reality, the GPU rendered it in 10 seconds. And previously to that, the CPU still put it at 20 seconds, and it's a minute. So you're you're seeing even more dramatic speed increases. Um, it'll be interesting to see what else as far as like maybe the 4000 series, but. Um, so yeah, we're gonna after these next two, we're gonna look at some graphs real quick. So yeah, I just wanted to compile uh, the results that we just saw and put them into a graph so we can kind of compare them a little bit easier. So I want to first start off by looking at this scene. Um, so this scene this data if we look at it the and we compare it with the 3090 being blue and the 1080 being this orange uh, we can see that it's already a big a big jump in 
um, performance, and I I don't think that 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 wasn't debatable. We we should have all known that the 1080 compared to the 3090, 3090 was going to be significantly better. Um, one of the big things that I want to pull away here, though, is the importance of the RTX, and I think this would happen with the 2000 and 3000 series. So uh, pay attention to these graphs at particularly this edge. This is the biggest one that I was actually um, interested in watching um, or interested in seeing the results in. And by the way, optics will include the RTX. Um, uses those render cores that are on the 2000 and 3000 series. So that is actually the reason why this is so much faster because it can actually use the full optic optic X, I don't know how you pronounce it, optics. Anyway, and whereas the uh, the the 1080 doesn't really use that at all well, as all. That's actually why it was uh, significantly longer. So I think it would be even better to compare the 3090 with optics to you know something like denoising it without optics because these are these are going to be the most sim like the lowest times that you're going to get with the 1080 and this is a really good time like we're looking at I think almost I think all of them actually I could be wrong but all of the denoised optics are below one minute which is pretty big and I'll show you in just a second, I'll also show some other really cool features. So I'm going to go to the next one here. So this also shows, once again, that with the denoise optics, uh, it is the fastest by quite a bit. Like, we're, we're dropping, or we're increasing performance nearly double. Something else you can keep in mind right here is, you can't really see it in the video that well, but it honestly takes about 25 seconds just for some of these things to get um, to be prepared and that counts into this time so if we're talking real render time I would I would imagine actually subtracting 20 seconds off each one of these so um, it's actually more than double the, the speed of the 1080 um, comparatively uh, the big thing here though once again is the RTX does make a big difference in rendering uh, I'm not necessarily saying anything else, but rendering particularly, it's making a big difference with. I'm going to go to the next slide here. Once again, it is the fastest by quite a large margin. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting things. Um, I'm going to show you something right now that will be pretty cool. So like I said, this was one part that I was actually really excited about, and if you can... It, if you can see this, this is um, some pretty big things going on with this RTX. This is rendering in cycles. Uh, this is important to note because EV handles this better, right? Like, it can handle it real time. However, this is running in cycles near real time. As we move around, it, it only takes just like a couple seconds. And like I said before, uh, with those render times, because the CPU is trying to load it all up for the scene, 20 seconds of those 30 seconds or 40 seconds that the card was taking before that was just CPU load time but now you can see in just a matter of under 10 seconds but uh, very close and I think these are these are results that are um, very happy I'm, I'm very happy about so if I were to have a conclusion about the, the 3090 I would say maybe Okay, because for for 3D graphics, absolutely. If you have money to s to spare on this thing, this thing will blow your mind at the capabilities that it has for rendering. But it's very niche, as it's just compare. It's just doing stuff with rendering. Like it doesn't really do too much with other aspects of you, even your own 3D graphics files. It's mainly just rendering. So, if you want to spend some money, fifteen hundred dollars, go for it. If you want to do gaming. I would suggest getting something cheaper. I I don't think there's a real reason for it, but um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I don't want to necessarily tell you all the things, but uh, I I think it's a great card. And we'll see you on your next Blender Know How video. Thanks.